We hear constantly now this, you know, this term, cookies are going away, cookies are going away, but they will be replaced by what? Exactly. So um, I w be before getting into that, I want to say like uh, cookies are going away. Uh, that's a decision of browsers. Okay. Uh, okay. And in, in also in technology, because when we move to the, uh, to the mobile world, to the smartphones, uh, people mm -hmm. change the way they browsed and they don't browse that much on the uh, web browsers anymore, but on the smartphones, they do it more on apps. And an app didn't have cookies. So we already have to adapt in some way there. Okay. Right. But still, most of the activity was still happening on the, on the, on the web browsers. And that's where the cookie uh, sentiment and the cookie story comes from. So cookies are a good thing in general, I would say. They help the websites keep track and they avoid asking you all the time for, for your logins and uh, to uh, get back your settings and all this kind of stuff. So uh, that's what we call first party cookies. So it's when the, the website itself like stores that information in your computer to recognize you when you're back and personalize the things for yourself. Um, that's, let's say, the good use. I don't think no, anybody, nobody um, is scared or complains about it. People were complaining about third party cookies which is on those same websites, it was a third party that was putting those cookies in your computer to track you also when you were going to another website and another website and really following, following you through the whole path. Okay. Um, is it good or bad? Personally, I think the concept is rather good. It mm -hmm. helps monitoring and adjusting things for the user, but it, if it's not used properly, yes, you can track people and it can be a bit scary. Yeah. Um, then the first ones, uh, Apple said, we're going to remove them uh, because there is no value. There was no value for them there. So if they can improve uh, uh, privacy uh, for their customers, why wouldn't they do it? So it was positive PR and so on, uh, no negative but for them. So they did it. Uh, then came Firefox, Microsoft. The last one um, that was still around was uh, Google. Uh, they had the largest um, a, a web browser share. I don't remember exactly how much, but I think it's around 60%. Okay. Um, so though they had a more complicated uh, call to do them. That's why they're the last one and it's been taking so long because if they do it, like they completely kill a market, let's say, and they need to find out how to replace that and they can be attacked for a monopolistic approach and anti-competitive uh, uh, behavior and this kind of stuff. In the end, they decided that it was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. I still wonder if it's the only reasoning for them there uh, because by doing that, they also push more of the revenue more of the uh, advertisers to those world gardens that they own like they keep knowledge of what you do through the browsers and they keep knowledge of what you do through the logins so they they, they were not that dependent on cookies all the people were uh, but they made the call for one reason or the other or maybe both of them that were good for them uh, they did it uh, at least they have been kind of open in the way that they wanted to approach it, giving solutions for new technologies to appear and giving time to test them. And is privacy any concern in all that? Is privacy any factor that they that those companies have considered to pull out from cookies? Or it's mainly just because people are moving to apps rather than browsers? No, no. Pe people are using apps more, but browsers are still very heavily used. Okay. So it's, it's the privacy component. Okay. That is the official reason. There could be others, but okay. we, we will not discuss that. Uh, but yes, for that privacy component, we need to find new ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. And uh, what Google is proposing, so there have been a lot of back and forth and so on, and they still need to test it next year. Um, and ideally, if, uh, if the competition authorities allow it, it will go live second half of, the, of next year. No, next year, this year already. So 2020, second half of 2024. Yes. Okay. Um, 
but yes, so basically they, what they were trying to prevent is that you really track an individual. Okay. Yes. Um, so they want to group them. They want to say, oh, look at, we have millions and millions of people browsing on a given website. You may have a, on a given day, a thousand people. And the, the ideas are, let's categorize these people. Let's say uh, the person that is that has come here. I know through their browsing history, and this happens only on the browser, so it's not exported anywhere else, that the browser has categorized these people like a, a fashion a lover. Okay. So you have information about already a category, let's say. Okay. Or you have an information about uh, what kind of uh, websites have been uh, visited uh, previously. News, is it sports? And with that, you can try to infer like, and give them more precise advertising that just randomly, like we do on TV, like, oh, it just, and I'm not, ra- TV is not random either, but when you say I'm advertising on a, on a football game, you know that uh, not everyone there is going to be interested in uh, in men's uh, shaving machines, but uh, you know, it's mostly yeah. I have, so I'm doing it there. Um, so you want to be more precise. Uh, we're going to lose precision for sure. Uh, yes. How much? That's the that's the key question. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. So there are going to be new solutions appear. That's always like uh, the game. Like people will innovate and see how this works, and they will add new twists and a lot of the efforts. Uh, but I'm not sure they have paid off, uh, and or will pay off. Is that people were trying to create those uh, globally. Uh, common standardized identifiers so that you could, again, a bit like the critical idea of, I, I want to be able to track you, but without really knowing that you are Ayman. I see. I want to know things, but so setting up these standards, like uh, the Trade Desk um, was advocating for one. Uh, there are other other uh, companies as Live Ramp, like they, they have their own IDs and they probably plan to sell them in the end. Yeah. Uh, so those will happen. 